Hi everyone, continuing on the cucumber tips and tricks series and today we are going to discuss about dog string type. So previously we have discussed about parameter type and the data table type uh, and continuing on the same line. So this is for dog string type. In this we can convert a JSON string uh, like JSON which is in multi line uh, string format here you can see uh, we have like uh, three double quotes here then the three double quotes here right and similarly we can have xml as well so as part of this talk string type the transformation is done on this way that we will converting the data that we have provided here into the java objects so in parameter types uh, previously we have seen how to convert single parameter which is within the particular step then we focused upon data table type where we were converting the data tables into the java objects and now we are focusing on how to convert the JSON or XML within your feature file into the Java objects, right? So for that, we will uh, we will use this doc string type annotation. Uh, so what I have done here, I have taken two uh, two scenarios. One is having like this JSON, which is having some user profile related information in form of user email address. And similarly, we have another in form of product, which is having ID, name and price. So these are two different scenarios. And uh, what I have done is I have created like two POJOs. Both are using Lombok. So here we have one POJO for product, which is having ID, name and price as per as per the information that we have in our JSON. Right. And similarly, for user profile, as we can see, we will have username, email, and then address address will have for the street city and zip right so uh, here we can see we have this uh, again another pojo which will be having this username email and then another class which is address then address is defined here right so now how this transformation will happen this is pretty straightforward we will use some kind of uh, library like jackson library or json library for transforming uh, the JSONs into the objects, right? So that is pretty straightforward. Uh, here you can see uh, here I have uh, used a single step definition only. You can have uh, multiple step definition. You can create a separate class for this uh, transformations of yours. Like you can keep all your parameter type, data table type, and then this doc string type in one place as well. Or you can uh, structure it as you want, right? Because one transformation, it can be used for multiple step definition. Uh, we need to keep that in mind. So here what I have done is I have created a instance of object mapper from Jackson, right? And uh, here we have an instance of user profile. Here we have an instance of product. So this is a basic sample test that I have created in both cases. I, what I'm doing, I'm just reading this JSON. I'm saving it and then I'm just asserting whether the username is equal to this and the city is equal to this. Uh, sorry, this one. And similarly, I'm checking it for the product as well that the product is this and then the product name is this and product price is this. So this is simple uh, demo scenario here. So let me go to the step level. So here what we are doing here, we had the entire JSON and json has been converted into the user profile and this transformation happened because if you see here doc string type annotation is provided here and here you can see we have a doc string coming in into this particular method and it is returning user profile user profile is being returned by this object mapper dot read value from jackson right and then here we are providing our so here we can see uh, it is coming from jackson right and here i just need to pass the doc string and the class that i want to return similarly the same thing for the product as well so pretty straightforward and then every step whichever step has that kind of uh, json provided that will be converted automatically into the java objects uh, like here we are talking about the user profile so we already get the user profile instance here I have saved it into for the demo purpose. I have saved it into this uh, variables that I have created. Uh, okay, reference variable for the classes that have been created here. And then uh, in the next step, 
I process the user profile, I'm just printing it out. Then I'm asserting whether the username is equal to the expected username that has been received from the feature file. And I'm getting this from this POJOS that I have created, right? Getter setter will be there due to this at the rate data annotation. Similarly, I'm checking the city. This is for the product. Here we can see product we have got here. And then I'm just printing the product. And here I'm just checking whether the product name is as expected or not. And this is for price. And for user profile, we have done the same thing for city as well, right? Here we are getting the city. So first we get the address and then from address we fetch the city. Quite straightforward. So now I'll go to the feature. So I'll execute these tests and we'll see how it works out, right? So let me just trigger this. So basic idea is that this JSON should be converted into user profile and this JSON should be converted into product uh, object, right? And if we see here, here we have the user profile and here I printed the user profile object that got created and it has the values which are there in our JSON. Right, allies, one, two, three. So here you can see address, we have street, city and zip which is coming here similarly for product we'll have the same and then assertions as usual is passing and then this is the product information so this is about dog string type guys and in case you're liking the content that i'm making please do like share and do subscribe see you in the next video thank you